Well, about 7,500 runners are expected for today's run. We'll have live coverage all morning for the annual Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. And right now, we want to take you live to Kapiolani Park, where survivors, friends, family are gathering to get ready for this race. KITV4's Lara Yamada joins us with more. Lara. Boy, you guys, it is turning out to be a great morning. Uh, over the past couple of days or so, a little rainy or so, but this is just beautiful right now. You can't see all the crowds behind me yet, but they're starting to build. We're right here at the start line, uh, just across from uh, the bandstand area, and it's, we're going to have a great time this morning for a great cause, of course. Joining me right now is Dr. Uh, Lisa Greninger. She is with Doctors for the Cure, and, and you've been part of this for, for quite some time now. It's great to kind of see the progression of, of the research, the work, and the support. Yeah, it's amazing to see how this event has evolved over the years. Um, you know, from a relatively small race at Al Moana Park to having, I believe today that we may have 5,000 people here uh, coming out to support um, this wonderful organization and all those touched by breast cancer. What's so wonderful is that just so much of this, what people have spent their time raising money for, the vast majority of this is going to research and just making sure that we continue to move forward. Right. Komen is a national organization and has a very strong presence here in Hawaii. And of all the money raised here, 75% uh, stays in Hawaii specifically to fund programs that help women with um, education, screening, funding mammograms for underserved women, and also treatment and uh, public education and just all facets of what we can do to help those affected by breast cancer. So just a, a big reminder for everybody, uh, you know, this is going toward that research, toward that education, but we're still looking for that cure. The good thing is we have so many survivors, but we still have a ways to go. Right. A lot of the national money also goes to fund uh, many research projects working on uh, prevention, treatment, and all different facets of treatment for, um, related to breast cancer. What we were talking about earlier is what's great is that you have uh, a situation like this where so many people are here together supporting each other in such a warm and happy way. That's just wonderful to see. Yeah, it's just amazing to see all of the, um, the survivors, the supporters, the family members, the medical um, professionals, and uh, just everybody coming out to support it. And also turning it into, into a really fun event just to connect and uh, be with all these people. Well, Dr. Greninger, thanks so much for all of your hard work. Uh, we're getting excited. We were hearing the bagpipes earlier play, and you, you see everybody coming over here to take pictures. So no doubt, everybody, it's going to be a fun race. We'll be here hanging out. Make sure we give you the latest. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Laura.